investigates uncovering some disturbing new details in the case of a former cop accused of sex crimes involving an underage girl. Our cameras were rolling as the suspect answered to those charges. Investigator Mike Mason is live in the newsroom with what happened in court. Mike. Yeah, Chris, the suspect in this case is Rayvon Wiggins, a former East Cleveland police officer. The charges against him include six counts of sexual battery and six counts of unlawful sexual conduct with a minor. On behalf of the defendant, we acknowledge receipt, waive the reading, enter a plea of not guilty, and ask that a reasonable bond be set. Wiggins didn't speak at his arraignment today, uh, instead letting his lawyer do the talking. He was released after posting a $10,000 bond. Wiggins is also required to wear a GPS monitor, a request made by the alleged victim in this case. She claimed she was 15 years old when she started having sex with Wiggins, and he was 21. She told police she met him about six years ago when she was in the ninth grade. She said they were introduced through an Air Force Junior ROTC sergeant at a career day event at John Marshall High School. What is still unclear though at this point is what Wiggins was doing at the school. The grand jury indictment says Wiggins was a teacher, administrator, coach, or other person in authority employed by or serving at the school that the victim attended. 19 investigates reached out to the Cleveland schools and asked if Wiggins was ever employed by the district or if he worked as a volunteer. So far, CMSD has not answered our questions. We also reached out to the Air Force Junior ROTC headquarters who verified they have no record of Wiggins ever serving as an instructor on their behalf. What we do know is that he was hired to be an East Cleveland cop in 2018, a few months after the alleged sex offenses occurred. East Cleveland terminated Wiggins following the indictment. He's due back in court later this month. In the newsroom, Mike Mason, 19 News.